So, Chris, we just launched the SSE 18. How do you feel? I think it's gorgeous. I actually did bring my very old AP today, which this is, do you remember it? It's the uh, Frank the Tank. Yes, exactly. Uh, from the video, like you were shooting people with it. Uh, it's uh, the very first sidearm that I actually owned. Uh, an so AP. You, you, f you first bought an AP. Yes. I when think that's pretty unique these yeah. days. Uh, I don't think too many people first buy the AP. It was the cheapest. The it cheapest. was the cheapest, yeah. The cheapest sidearm, yeah. It was my primary. As a primary, we could use it as a primary, yeah, if you get close enough to people. But back then I kind of needed something that I can use in winter and in summer, and I didn't have the money to buy an AP and a gas blowing, so I just went for an AP. And honestly, like efficiency-wise, there's not really a reason to buy a gas blowing. It's just, APs are just not as cool, yeah. They're just not, you know, they don't kick, they don't... But uh, efficiency-wise... I remember we were talking about it, and it's an interesting point that you that you, that you you said, and that it just makes sense if you don't really care about, you know, the kick and the sound it makes, this is the better option. Yeah, it's the most efficient sidearm, I think. I mean, what else gives you a hundred rounds at, what, 15 rounds per second? Yeah, uh, and it's consistent. It's consistent. Like it's an AG. AGs are always consistent, you know, they fire the same, they don't really kick, they don't do mm. anything except putting BBs on target so they are accurate and consistent. Sometimes people say that they wish that they could, you know, have a, like a small AG that they can holster and people very often don't realize that this is a, a valid option. Uh, you you don't is. need your, your secondary to shoot 1.5 shoots, like not at all. As soon as it's further away, use your sniper rifle or AG. People are trying to, to holster these MP7s, right? Yeah, exactly. <sighs> Why? Why? That's you? perfect. I mean, it, it, in MP7, you have a slightly bigger gearbox, I assume. It's not even much, like, I think the, the Marie-based ones, they do 0.6 joules or something. This is slightly below that, so you don't really get, you don't get anything really, <laughs> except that you have an MP7. Well, you it's have bigger, a, it's bigger. Have, yeah, it's bigger yeah. and you can, you can shoulder it, I guess. But man, that's... That's what, like, if you need a sidearm for all year round, I think an AP is your best bet. And I think what we really made different now is that now it's actually cool. Because APs always kind of look like, you know, just that. They're simple. And that's it, because uh, you don't have the thread, you don't really have any accessories uh, you can true. put on. They look and now a bit boring. Yeah? They, they always used to be the, the, the boring thing, yeah? And we made it exciting. Oh, that's what I, that's what I feel like. I mean, just look at it. How could you even think that this is an AP? No, it is. By the way, what are we even doing here? Uh, we didn't give people any introduction, like what this video is about. Oh yeah, this is, well, we launched the SZ-18 and we're just rambling about it. Yeah, what's cool on an AP, um, what makes the SZ-18 unique and also what's our experience with, with So what's APs? your experience? Let's start with that because I, I kind of like talking about our experience. My experience with APs is you buy it and they work. And also the ones that are on the market, like, man, they are good. Like APs, they are really good APs on the market. Um, but it's always been a bit, you know, one example. Yeah, I bought this one and I had a Safari Land holster for 150 bucks. It was actually more than a pistol. And That's in order to get it in, and, and I can show it to you here, it's kind of like you have to like ham it in. Yeah, They are a bit, they are a bit too... They're a bit too big, um, and we tried to fix that, and we did, so, you know, our AP just goes like, you know, it's in there. So, no holster modification, none of this. So, that was my first experience. I bought it, and it didn't fit into my yes, holster. Yes, I also, uh, so, for the record, I also have SEMA AP, yeah. and I had, to, I had to take this, I had to warm it up, Wrap the pistol in uh, three sheets of paper. I yeah. found three sheets of paper work the best. That's your tip if you, mm -hmm. for whatever reason, already have it and you want to fit it in a holster. Three sheets of paper, A4, cut the excess. You warm this up with a um, heat gun and you really jam it in there. And then you put it in a freezer. 
Uh, I, I did put it in I the freezer did, so that it... Same thing. <laughs> but I put so, it in the oven first. Oven. I, I mean, I heat it up with a heat, heat gun, yeah. so it doesn't really make a difference. The, the holster started bubbling a little bit yeah. because it like, overdid <laughs> it a little. But I mean, it's, it's a piece of plastic. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Uh, and then in the freezer, and then when you take it out, you remove the paper, then it fits perfectly. It's like yeah. smooth. It's like a snug fit. Yeah. Yes. Yes, it's it's that's, that was also my first experience. But then, like my experience, that's pretty much the end of my experience because then it just worked. It just worked. Yeah, it just worked. Us. Um, I did have one issue, and that was me trying to upgrade it. <laughs> Matt, I, tried I remember to... that we did it in the old yeah. studio. I did have a fifty euro PDI six point zero one barrel in there in there because the Marie one comes with six point zero eight barrel, and you do get quite an FPS boost with that. Uh, but I was already come with a 603, so changing that, I, you probably run into more issues because then it's so tight if there's mm. any you know, dirt in there. And APs are the, you know, the kind of pistol when it's, it snows and it's dirty and muddy, then you, then you go for an AP. And if then the, you have a type of barrel, it can actually run into, you can run into issues where you, your view is just jamming the barrel. Okay. I think experience is covered. No, 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 it's actually not no? done yet. Okay, no? I did okay. also try to change parts and inside. So I, I installed ball bearings, I installed a new cylinder head and I, and I tried all the kind of stuff and trust me, it doesn't do anything. Like APs are just made to utilize this tiny space as good as possible. And you can't really upgrade it. Uh, you can always say, hey, but this part seals better. Uh, and this part uh, it does something, and this they seal really well. When I tried it, they seal really well. Uh, you can't, you can't really. Do you also tried longer barrels, right? Yeah, it doesn't do anything. Uh, not enough volume. Not enough cylinder volume. Okay, another try. part of the experience: losing magazines. <laughs> oh. I did seal my own little AEP magazine pouch. Like solved. it's solved there, yeah, we solved it. But it was like a small, tiny pouch, <laughs> like a tube that you put into the mall and and, and I lost my mags like so many times. Ah, but they are cheap. That's cheap. But still, you don't want to lose your you mag, right? Like, it, if you if you start the day with three magazines and you end up with zero magazines, <laughs> it's like uh, not yeah. ideal. How much is one magazine? Um, nine. Nine, nine euros. Yeah. Ah, that's They're cheap. Perfect. Yeah, that's They're perfect. Cheap. Nine euros for a magazine. Yeah. Compare that to a GBB R. Gas ball bag rifle. Forty bucks and pop. And especially this this mag is a couple of euros more and. Man, I used it. I have one of these like yeah. before, like I bought the AP five years ago, something like that. I had one and I was usually not even using the small magazines because I just, I took this, put it in there, put it in the holster, which is actually kind of comfortable because it's just plastic. It's lightweight. So it doesn't really add this weight to your pistol and to your holster. Very important if you are running around a lot. And I just left it there and whenever I needed a pistol, I just take it. I don't use full auto, surprise, surprise. So like for single shot, man, you it lasts. You AP. I don't. You don't use full auto on no, AP? Man, I only use full auto on AP. That's the fun of it, I think. I used it like twice, just because it was the end of the game already. Uh, and I was just like spraying and uh, I don't. But, I mean, it's it's cool, but still. I don't, because I only had one magazine. I, I you know, like yeah. needed like yeah. to preserve ammo. And really like how often do you change magazines? And especially if you have this big one. Mm. So I was running like efficiency. Yeah. I never want to reload type of game. Mostly in winter, mostly in winter, because otherwise I use uh, gas blowback pistols. But for winter, man, yeah. I mean, it works. What else do you wish for? It works in winter. That's what a sidearm needs to do, right? Yeah. Just needs to shoot. Yeah. Show us your build there. What's what's this race? This so race pistol. So I, I got inspired. Obviously, you can tell that this design is the same as SSP, the gas uh, brother of this. And I want people to have the same options. I want them to experience this. You know, hey, I can I can tune it. I can not tune it. I can mod it. I, I can put accessories on it because yeah. it's just externals really, which, uh, you know, like Magwell doesn't do anything for you because you have this stick you need to, you know, put, put in. So Magwell, but, but it looks cool. And if you have your SSP 18, which I like, obviously, you can make winter variant, which works no matter what in all conditions. And you can make it look exactly the same if you want to do so. This That's is, what I want to achieve. This is the first epic looking AP. 
ever, ever on this planet thing. That's the first one. It just looks amazing. Yeah, you have all the options and they fit together and, and a suppressors. Big, also. And a big deal. Okay, those accessories, some of them might be, you know, just for the looks, except for the red dot that actually makes sense. But I always wanted a suppressor on my AP. Like when I had it, I always wanted it. You, you, you couldn't do it. The SEMA? Do we have the SEMA? Yeah. Why? Why cannot you put a suppressor on there? There's no threat. There is no threat, and even if you would make it, it's uh, basically held in place by this little plastic piece, and that, it wouldn't be durable. That's why we made it part of the barrel. It is part of the barrel, the threads, it's all metal, and now you can attach it, and you would be surprised. Man, an AP is really quiet. If you put 0.25s in there, yeah, which slows down the piston slightly, and then you, know, you hold it with both hands, so you get rid of the gearbox sounds, or most of it. I'm telling you, people will wrap it in a in a pillow or something. Yeah, <laughs> right here. because all the sound is actually like yeah, here, and then like when this. the when it, when it shoots, it comes from the barrel. You know the the crack. Yeah. The the cr I mean, we call it the crack. crack, but it's I mean it's more like a yeah, but it comes from the barrel. If you muffle the barrel, it mm -hmm. sounds very nice. When we were shooting it in the mountains, it sounds uh, it very sounds nice. nice yeah. It's still an AP, okay. But it's not an SX23. It's not as quiet as an SX23, but it's actually surprisingly close. I, I was really, I was stunned when I heard it for the first time. Mm. Yeah, because we developed the suppressor for, you know, being it was kind of like, yeah, it looks, you know, it looks cool, and let's just add foam, let's see what it does. But when I heard the result, man, it's amazing. Important. Yeah. It's modular. Yes. The suppressor is modular. This is the you same can... product actually, but you can just take out this front piece, boom, and you're ready to go. Um, this one will be available in. It's in production right now. Two months production. Two, in two and a half months, you can also get the suppressors. So it's not available yet, but you can already check it out at the website, how it looks, how much it's going to cost. Um, I think it's very cool. We're also planning to make this for other products like the SX23 and you know some other ones, but the AP will be the first one. SSP18. SSP18 also, yeah. Also an amplifier version of this. Rectangular amplifier. amplifier. It more sounds, loud, yes. It sounds that's what very I want. cool. Yeah. It sounds very cool. I'm not putting suppressors on my gas, whatever. <laughs> People will do I that. I want them I'm loud. Telling. I want them loud. People will do that. And now it's coming. Yes. Okay, feature rundown. Let's uh, run down a little bit. Obviously, you can put anything on it. Uh, it's Everything is compatible. Everything will be available. Uh, magazines are cheap, works in all temperatures. You get the fiber optic front side finally in red color. Yeah. <laughs> yes. I, I always used to say red makes sense. When I want to aim, I see a red dot. It's danger. I pull the trigger <laughs> and then the BB leaves. But I then guess. you had a good point. Green is actually slightly brighter. It's brighter. So now I'm split. Now I don't really care if it's green or red because Red makes more sense to me. It's like a, it's like a red light, you know. It's danger over there. Yeah. Green is a little bit more bright. So on the SSP18 we have the green. On this we have the red. Uh, whatever. I mean, you can always change it. Right? Always change Just it. order it from AliExpress, and you can you can have all the different colors you can possibly <laughs> exactly. want. Uh, what it's else? also real fiber optic. Like this is not a plastic stick. Yeah, yeah this is actually like cheap close, fiber maybe. optic. Can yeah. we can we zoom on there a little bit? Which is not. Not always the case in the airsoft industry. Yeah? People just put plastic sticks in there. This is fiber optic right there. Exactly. It's actually collecting light. I can tell. Yeah. Uh, it, it is glowing. Uh, what else do we have? Uh, cheap, works in all temperature. Lipo and MOSFET. Yes. And ball bearings. Uh, we do have a gearbox here. Really quick. Uh, also, these are all spare parts. Not all of them, but we did do offer pretty much every spare part. Uh, I heard that you can build the whole pistol from spare parts. I I think we try to achieve that. Uh, should be yeah. possible. So all the spare parts, no, if something breaks. I mean, they usually don't break. Yeah. They, they don't. Unless you mess with them and you try to upgrade them and then you break it like I did. I mean, let's say, okay, you have a suppressor, you drop it on a rock and the whole thing breaks off for whatever reason. You can buy the slide. You can buy the slide. Yeah. So you can buy the metal. Uh, people will ask, is it compatible? Let's address It's not. That. It's not? Try it. Because ours oh, is yeah, slimmer. We have to, uh, yeah. And ours is slimmer. Ours is slimmer, yeah, true. Yeah, true. So we do have a slightly mm -hmm. slimmer slide, so we can fit the holes and that's why it's not compatible with uh, Saima, Marui, and Double Eagle um, APs. Looks like you can go step back. <laughs> wow. You can go back. That looks 
Hot. No, it actually looks okay. Yeah, it, I mean, it's a Glock. <laughs> yeah. You can go step back. Well, you can go a step back. I'm not yeah. sure why would you do that. <laughs> if you want to. But uh, here we have the gearbox. Uh, we do have ball bearings inside. Um, steel gears, of course. Like, I think I don't need to go into details. It's an AP, you know. They, they work. So this one works as well. Um, MOSFET, very important here under the shrink tube. What and I love is these little Dean mini connectors. Mini Deans, yeah, of course, for the least resistance possible. So yeah, we really Gold tried plated. to check all the boxes with this AP. Um, hope you guys like it. I'm excited for those winter games to actually see people running them. It um, makes total sense in winter. Yeah, it makes total sense. I mean, that's, that's like the only thing you can run in winter. It's not even that you have a choice. If it's really cold, yeah. like... So if you're badass and you play in the snow and you don't say, Oh, it's too cold! That's your best bet right there. Get an AP. Uh -huh. a suppressor. That's how I would run it, actually. I would run it like this. Short suppressor, so my draw is not too long. But I still get the benefit of the more quiet shot and it just looks amazing. No red dot, no nothing. That's, that's, that's how I would run it. How I would run it? Uh, I'm gonna build it exactly as the SSP1. SS18? One, uh, SS, uh, SSE18, yes. I tend to mix these yeah. a lot <laughs> in my videos. Um, I'm gonna, I'm waiting for the accessories and I'm gonna make it colorful. Probably blue. I think I like the blue variant a lot. So I'm gonna put the comb there, even though it doesn't make any sense. You can, uh, with the SSP18, you can extend the barrel. We are offering 130 millimeter barrel. So to give you more oomph, more energy, right. you can hide it in, in the compensator. That was the whole idea. I won't put a red, actually I will put a red dot because I'm getting a real steel Glock with a red dot. So I have to train with that. So I will put a red dot on my pistols from now on, even though in my previous videos I said, no, but now I'm getting a real steel one, so I'm gonna mimic that in Airsoft. Magwell, probably just because of the looks. Um, and yeah, that's probably it. I want the color accent, um, I want the color accents there, and the AP will look exactly the same as the SSP18. Good. Let us know what you think about the SD18. Are you excited for the launch? I am because it brings me back to the roots. I mean, it's been launched by it's been launched, the yeah. time. Yeah, true. When, when you see this, it's already there. Yeah. Go check it out. It's on Norwich.com. And we're excited to hear you guys' opinion on it in the comment section. And as always, we have owners groups. So if you own Norwich products, join owners groups uh, on Facebook. There is a lot of good tips there, a lot of people who know stuff so and we also check these groups so if you have feedback put it there and we will see you there good thanks bye see ya